Okay, I'm going to show you how to create what's called a hotspot in fireworks. Um, a hotspot is just a specific area of your page that can be linked to something else. Um, and it's typically in a regularly shaped uh, link area. It's part of the HTML code. It's not part of the image itself. There actually isn't really a use for it when you're in fireworks, but it would be used later when you export your work to Dreamweaver. Um, a hotspot will actually be on an image that sits, or in, on a layer that sits over your image, and you can turn it on and off while working to make it a little bit easier if you want to edit the image underneath. And um, also, Dreamweaver can make hotspots, but you might find it a little easier to do in fireworks. All right, I'm going to go out to fireworks now and show you how this will work. Um, I've drawn a blue star, a red circle, and then just some words that say click here. I'm going to start with making a hot spot um, with my rectangle tool. And you can see over here on the left, right underneath the vector tools are your web tools. On the left here are the hotspot tools. I'm going to choose rectangle first. And I'm just going to draw a rectangle around this area where it says click here. And you can see now that um, I have kind of a, a see-through blue area with a little, looks like a dial in the middle. That's actually my hotspot. It's been created over the text so that the area around the text links, not just the text itself. Excuse me. Um, I'm going to also show you how the circle hotspot would work. If I have a circular object that I want to link, I can use this tool. Might take a little uh, work to position it. that again. There. It doesn't really matter if it's irregularly shaped. Um, it doesn't cover all of your circle. What matters is that it covers um, the majority of the area. And as you're drawing, it can sometimes be useful to hold down control so you can move that circle around a little bit easier and um, change some of the properties of that circle, like making it bigger or smaller. Okay, finally, and this is probably the most useful one, is the Polygon Hotspot tool. This is what you can use to draw around very irregular shaped objects like my star. The way you use that is by using these little anchor points. And you start just by clicking around the object. And as you click, your hotspot starts to form. Again, it's not important that you get everything perfect. Okay? And when you close the circle then, you should have a hotspot. You can see I lifted off my star there. It's approximately the same shape. Okay, so what I have now are three different hotspots. And as I said before, these are actually um, on layers. They're not on the image itself. There's a couple different ways you can turn this off. If you want to work with your image underneath and you don't want to get the hotspots in the way, you can turn it off over here by hiding them. Now they're on. Now they're off. Or you can do it in layers on the right in the layers dialog box. I'm going to pull this out here so you can see it a little bit better. You can see there's a folder called web layer and in that folder I have each one of my hotspots. If I wanted to keep track of them a little bit better I could actually rename them. I could just call this star hotspot I'm just double clicking circle hotspot spot 
rectangle hot spot. That really is up to you. I can also hide all the hot spots by clicking on the eyeball up here that hides the entire folder or I can hide individual hot spots by clicking on the eye next to them. Again, this isn't really useful unless you bring this image out into Dreamweaver, which we'll be doing in later weeks. Um, I also want to point out the properties box down at the bottom. Right now my star is selected. This is the place where I could type in a link or I could put alternate image text for that hotspot. I could again call it um, star hotspot. This is really up to you. Um, I personally think it's easier to add your links after you get into Dreamweaver, but that's just a preference of mine. Okay, and that's it for